All right, time to play some Star Wars Squadrons. Uh, let's see, where were we? Uh, where were we? Mission number five. Okay, cool. So let's continue the story. Make sure it's on the right setting. Pilot. Okay. All right. A little bit of lore right there for you, if you can read that. Got to adjust my glasses. Ugh, sucks wearing glasses while I'm wearing a headset. But that's what happens, you know? Can't change that. Just got to load. Got to adjust my headset even more. Hold on. All right, cool. Now I just got to wait. Move my headphones. I got the deluxe audio strap, so... That clicking you hear. Just waiting even more. <clears throat> okay. Hopefully you got the audio settings correct. I had to uh, bump up the uh, volume for the main uh, audio track. So that should be good, hopefully. I think it was at negative 7 decibels. This one's at negative 5, so... Is it still loading? Oh, nope. There we go. Oh, still loading. Wow, this is taking a while to load. Okay. My game, is my game still working? Yeah, it's still loading. Ah. <sighs> Man, just uh, look at the loading icon to pass the time. Like, didn't that patent for loading screen mini games like expire a long time ago? <laughs> we should have something here. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I mean, you know, nowadays people have like really fast, uh, solid state drives, so only people like me would like physical hard disk drives <laughs> would probably benefit from that uh, loading screen mini games. Ah, oh, man. This is this is unusually long. Usually I'd be in the game already, but uh, something's going on. Am I not? I'm uh... going to make sure my uh, the game is selected. Oh, wow. All right. This <laughs> How many minutes is gonna is this gonna take? Probably five five minutes. Yeah, usually this is this doesn't take that long, but uh, I don't know. Today is uh, something special, I guess. Oh man. Uh, okay. Am I supposed to do something? Okay. Yeah. Wow. All right. I might have to just pause uh, this this video to wait for it to load. It's already been like five minutes. Oh my goodness. Leave this. Hold on, just a second. I got an Alt Tab, and I'm gonna pause. Oh no, come on. Mess up on me now. Okay, uh, well, I had to restart the game for some reason. But, uh, yeah, hopefully it'll load this time. So, just making sure, again, pilot difficulty mode, mission 5. Continue the story, it's gonna load. Yeah, that's one of the many problems of this game. The the gameplay to me is is fine. It's great. It's it's pretty good, you know? I mean, it's not it's not X-Wing versus Tie Fighter, but whatever, you know, at least they made something different than than the standard Jedi game. <laughs> but uh just getting to the game alone is is kind of a is a hassle. 
Oh man, I'm gonna have to cancel this. Oh, don't tell me it's not gonna load. Oh, come on. Again, you know, I mean, the general gameplay uh, for me personally, I think it's great, but it's just everything surrounding it is just terrible. <laughs> Just want to play the game. That's all I want to do. There's only two things that really piss me off uh, in, in this world. Not being able to play and copyright. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, the load. Why is it loading so long? This usually doesn't happen. Please, are we gonna uh, are we gonna be stuck in an, uh, in a, a a little loop here? Oh my goodness! Yeah, this is probably not gonna be. Um... Man, I have no idea what's going on. It was just working fine, and now it's not doing anything. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna let this thing load, and if we miss the cutscene, well then, too bad. <laughs> but I'm gonna have to pause the video again because I don't want to waste time with this uh, black screen you're seeing here. So uh, I'll catch you guys in a minute, hopefully, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, finally finally loaded after like 20 something minutes uh to be honest i didn't really know if there was a cutscene or anything because i turned i took my head my headset off so <laughs> i don't know if it started in the hangar or it just gave me a cutscene but we can finally play thank goodness oh man when captain carol said she was bringing in one more pilot i didn't know what to expect i've been flying a long time this wouldn't be the first squadron I've seen compromised by nepotism. But you did well today, pilot. Most spy extractions end with significantly more casualties. If the team had any reservations about you joining Titan Squadron, you certainly put them to rest. Now let's go. Captain Carroll is waiting. Cool. All right. Well, I proved my, uh, my metal, my skill, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> playing on the easy difficulty while well, pilot is is normal normal so but uh anyways let's get into the briefing let's just move this along because uh agent thorne may not have known the precise location of project starhawk but the intel has pointed us in the right direction then we will proceed as planned oh hello captain is this the new pilot yes a valuable addition to the squadron wouldn't you say Indeed. Marvelous work securing Agent Thorne. You've exceeded your previous statistics by... Oh, forgive me. I'm so familiar with your profile that I forgot we haven't actually met. I'm LT-514, Imperial Intelligence. I'm eager to analyze your performance in the upcoming mission. Captain Carroll, shall we proceed with the briefing? Agent Thorne's intel has paid off. We've learned that a convoy of New Republic engineers is traveling from Hosnian Prime to Project Starhawk's secret base. Their chartered path leads them straight through the contested territory of De Severo. According to our new information, the convoy will attempt to conceal its presence in a local debris field. Follow the convoy through the wreckage and allow them to jump to hyperspace. We will calculate all possible destinations along their trajectory to find Project Starhawk. 
you must not be detected. We cannot risk losing this convoy. Local Imperial forces have been advised not to interfere. Once the convoy is clear of the debris, it will leave the system, pointing us toward their hidden headquarters. Once we have their jump vector, return to the Overseer and prepare for immediate redeployment. I've already contacted the Imperial authorities at Decebro. They're aware of the situation. You're certain he won't interfere? My records indicate that Captain Amos is trigger-happy, to say the least. His fleet is already in ruins after initiating several battles that were frankly quite unnecessary. Captain Amos is... enthusiastic. I'm hoping he's not a fool. The Empire can't afford to lose assets at this stage in the war. I agree wholeheartedly, Captain. After your impressive work at Hosnian Prime, this should be an effortless mission for you, pilot. Yes. My faith in you was not misplaced. Make sure it stays that way. That will be all. Sorry if the headset's moving. I'm just trying to readjust everything since I took it off. Uh, I kind of lost like all the uh, adjustments that I made. So now I just need to reposition things and yeah all right we should be good let's go to the hangar oh man these glasses still keep getting in the way all right let's talk it's good to see admiral sloan's spy network is intact we can't operate in the dark half of the empire's fracturing is down to commanders operating in isolation without a grander strategy. They forget we're all one empire, or should be. Perhaps annihilating this Starhawk will bring us together. You see Admiral Sloan's overall goal, yes? Unify, purify, and inspire. When we defeat this new Republic, we'll have survived the Crucible and come out stronger for it. On to bigger things. Okay, cool. Aha. More talking. <laughs> the captain has a personal stake in Project Starhawk. A vendetta with Lyndon Javes. Take it from me. Nothing motivates like betrayal. I've seen too many good pilots. Friends turned traitor. I put them out of their misery. But there's always more out there. Iden Versia, Erica Quell, Lyndon Javes. They're not just traitors, they're loose ends. Problems to solve once the war is done. We should go. I don't know about that. <laughs> I have a distinct feeling that uh, maybe the Empire is not going to win. <laughs> a simple in and out mission should be painless for us. But stay on your toes. You never know what cheap tricks the rebels will pull. De Severo. Hmm. Long way from civilization. I haven't seen the Outer Rim since the insurrection at Krigo. Well, let's get to it then. Get to your tie. Hmm. Still gotta adjust my headset. Oh man, that's what I hate about taking it off. It was perfect, but then I had to take it off. But hey, whatever, let's go, let's launch. The TIE Reaper is a specialist model made for utility and squadron support. If the enemy sees one, they know they're in trouble. With this loadout, it's built to disable enemy fighters with ion lasers. I've also equipped jamming tech to keep you off enemy radars and tactical shields to protect allied TIEs. Okay. All right, let's go. Oh, waiting too long. Thirsty. He's baited the rebels into pointless fleet battles over De Severo. 
and lost several destroyers by the look of it. At least his recklessness allows us to stay hidden. Stay together and keep your distance. The convoy can't know we're tracking them. Yes, sir. Titan 3's radar jammer will make it harder for the enemy to track you. Use it wisely. Uh, enemies can usually spot you on sensors from a long range, but there are certain components that allow a more stealthy approach. Use the squadron mask to make your allies temporary, temporarily disappear from enemy sensors. LBTU squadron mask. Sure, <laughs> we'll use it now. Let's use those debris clusters as cover and close in on the convoy. But don't boost your engines. It puts the entire mission at risk to fly so brash. I'm smart. That's quite the convoy just to protect rebel engineers. Why not destroy them and stop those gearheads from reaching their destination? Patience, Von Rick. We'll have plenty of new targets once we locate Project Starhawk. Yes, sir. You're right. It's smarter to hit them at the source than slow them down. Okay. Advance through the debris. Keep this up. Flying slow. Not getting any attention. Slow it down, Titan 3. All right, all right. Overseer, we're in position. Hold, Titan. Patience. Remember what we learned at the Battle of Bashar? How could I forget? We strike when the moment is right, not simply because we can. Attention! The Star Destroyer Tormenta is emerging from hyperspace near the debris field. Oh, there it is. He can't be serious. Captain Amos, what is the meaning of this? You're letting our enemy escape, Captain Carroll. I will not show the same mercy. Fire the missiles. We can't lose this convoy. Titan, shoot down the Tormentor's missiles. Captain Amos, you are compromising a delicate mission. Delicate? This is war. Snuffing out this new Republic is the only mission. Titan 3, shoot down the missiles. That Trying. Idiot. Convoy's alerted to our presence. No way we'll track their jump now. Just great. Strange feelings. Captain Amos, this is foolish. The Tormentor is severely damaged. It's still capable of destroying a few rebel ships. Just look at the wreckage around you. I see TIE fighters out there. Shattered. Broken. Yours, I assume. Every victory has its price. Titan, X-Wings on radar. 
Titan 3, disable the convoy ships with your ion lasers. We'll cover you. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, let me, let me, let me find them on the, uh, the screen here. Wait. Come on. Stop those transports. Captain Kara's boarding ships are coming. Stay focused. Stop that scatter convoy. No. Blast it. A transport escaped. Do not let the others get away. Stop shooting me. Deploying Lambda shuttles to board them and seize their nav data. We'll keep the shuttles safe. See that you do. Thanks to Captain Amos. Physically retrieving the nav data is our last chance at finding Project Starhawk. Reach the shuttles. Shuttles reached. Let's move. Wings. Eye on fire at its finest. Target is down. Tactical shield is a portable shield generator which you can launch at friendly targets. Oh, okay. Deploy tactical shields to protect our shuttles. Enemy starfighters are hounding a shuttle. Excellent defense. Oops. Tactical shield. Captain Amos, you are losing this battle. Imperial might will always prevail. I implore you to retreat. And ruin my spotless record? You are outgunned, sir. Because you shot down my missiles. Shuttle team, prepare to board. Seize the data. Find out where these ships were headed. Got him, got him. Boarding party has breached the transport. The data will be ours in no time. The boarding party has breached the transport. Stand by. They're jammed. Fine. I wash my hands of this, Captain Amos. Oh, then the glory shall be mine alone. Not many rebels left. Wipe them out, Titan. Jamming successful. Oops. Target three's master on maneuvers. Oh my goodness. Oh, I died. Oh, really? Oh, fine, we'll restart from checkpoint. Okay. Wow, somebody, please. Let's move. Shuttle team, prepare 
us aboard. Seize the data. Find out where these ships were headed. Shields! Excellent! Captain Amos, you are losing this battle. Imperial might will always prevail. The boarding party has breached the transport. Stand by. Take out the rest of the rebel fighters. I implore you to retreat. And ruin my spotless record. You are outgunned, sir. Because you shot down my missiles. Fine. I wash my hands of this, Captain Amos. Oh, and the glory shall be mine alone. Goodness. Indeed. <laughs> Titan, we've recovered the sector coordinates. 
records for the Starhawk dockyards, but the rest of the data banks are empty. Engineers must have wiped the rest when Captain Amos blew our cover. They were so close. Oh, idiot Amos deserves to go down with his ship. Knowing the sector at least narrows our search. Linden can't hide forever. Titan. Eliminate the convoy. Let Linden know we're coming for him. Oh well. <laughs> That's too bad about the rest of those other medals. But hey, wait a minute. Ah, completed the mission in five minutes and four oh. Oh, at fourteen minutes or less. Okay. Well I died, so I didn't get all the transports and uh I didn't get all the missiles. But uh yeah, that was um that was a pretty bad mission from the start. I mean, you kind of supposed to be like tracking them, but then that one uh Star Destroyer came out of nowhere. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, you can't win all of them, I guess. Anyways, uh, hopefully that didn't uh, eat up too much of your time, especially the loading uh, in the beginning. That was kind of uh, pretty bad. Let me just uh, grab my mouse here. Where's my mouse? Okay, there we go. But uh, yeah, that's about it for today. And uh, hopefully in the future, I don't have any too many problems with the um, with the game, but uh <laughs> yeah. Uh, you never know. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Oops. That's not what I want to do. Ah, oh, come on. All right. <laughs>